Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another haul for you. And today's haul, I don't think I've ever done before, is going to be a candle haul and a very specific candle haul because all of the candles that I've got to show you today have come from good old Aldi. Let me know straight away, pause the video, are you a fan of an Aldi candle? I think they're quite popular, aren't they? Because they do so many amazing dupes of more expensive candles, but for a fraction of the price. And to be honest, I think they burn really well and a lot of them smell incredible. So I thought it would be my duty for the festive period as we're now heading fully into candle burning season, if that can be a thing, that I would share some Aldi candles with you and let you know my thoughts on them. So that's what we're gonna do. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every week. I've got more videos coming up than ever before throughout the festive period. I'll probably be posting more than twice a week, probably more than three times a week but I'm not going to make any promises in case it all turns into a shambles <laughs> like it did last year. If you do want to watch last year's Christmas videos, I'll pop a little card in now for you so you can go back and have a little binge watch to see of all the Christmas videos that I did last year. But for now, um, we'll get straight into this haul. So, um, the first candle um, that I've got to show you, these are new ones by the way, I think. No, they're not. <laughs> these are the ones they've had forever. I've got some new ones to show you. I'm trying not to edit this video. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just trying to keep going because a lot of videos happening, don't really want to be editing too much. So we'll just carry on if that's okay. Um, but yes, this isn't a new one, but it is an old favourite. This is the number three pomegranate, and this is from their hotel collection. So I believe, and please don't sue me, that these are a dupe of, is it Joe Malone, I think, for these ones? Um, little tip for you, if you smell the lid, I'm sure you all know this, because we all love candles here. Um, you get a better idea of the fragrance than if you just smell inside there. Not sure why, but um, yeah, you can smell it in the lid. <laughs> so yeah, these are £3.99. They're really good, tried and tested. They burn really nicely, they're too wick. And that's all I've got to say about them really, but they're just old favorites. I'm just trying to see if the burn time's on there, but I don't think it actually is. But yeah, these are very good. They'll last you a little while and $3.99, you cannot go wrong. In the same collection, they've got the number one. Let me know what number your favourite is as well, by the way. They've got a few of these, haven't they? So there's a very small fly in the lens. Hi, um, please don't crawl. If he sits there, he'll be fine. But if you see anything coming down the screen, it's because there's a small fly, like a fruit fly kind of size. Slightly bigger, I would say. It's because I've got the filming lamps on at night time. I think it attracts insects and little um, spoiler the Christmas trees arrived so maybe there's some bugs on that that are um, now getting attracted to the lamps this isn't going very well we're three minutes 45 seconds in and I'm talking about a fly this is the number one the lime basil and mandarin from the same collection the hotel collection again it's three pounds 99 and this is one that when I burn this one, I've had it before, people have come round and said, oh, I like what it smells like in here. So this is one that really kicks out the scent. There's a word for it, which I've forgotten. What's the word for the reach of the candle scent? I forgot, but you know it. So pop it in the comments for me. And uh, yeah, absolute classic, really fresh lime basil mandarin. So obviously really fresh fragrances and a firm favorite. I highly recommend that one too. Now similar, and these are the ones, I'm just wiping the lid because it's wet and I don't know why it's wet, but um, it is. <laughs> now it's dry. Um, this is the similar collection, but these are some new numbers that I've never seen before. I think these are new. This is the number 22. And this one comes in this iridescent kind of finish on the glass and it has a gold lid as opposed to the silver one. So I thought these might make some really nice Christmas gifts. So this is the number 22. It's the Sweet Almond and Macaroon. This one smells incredible. It just smells like a really nice macaroon. <laughs> you knew what I was gonna say there, didn't you? I wasn't gonna say a really nice almond. And it kind of smells a bit like marzipan if you're a fan of that. So it's like a very sweet, 
something good for the kitchen I would say, something nice is baking going on if you're burning that. And again, it's a two wicker and I think these were 3 dollars as well. By the way, if you haven't got an Aldi near to you, I don't myself, it's a little bit further than the Lidl's my nearest, then you can order all of these online. So definitely pop online and have a look and it's a way you can get hold of them, delivered to your door and you could buy a few maybe and maybe use them as some Christmas gifts or just treat yourself like I have. I'll probably give one or two of these away, probably won't, that's just lying, but um, I can attempt to <laughs> but yes um if you spend over i think it's 30 pounds you also get free delivery so buy a few or you could pop in a few other items and then you'll be good to go so again from the same collection we have the number 24 this also has the iridescent kind of glass going on so really nice container the gold lid again and yes this one is rose noir it smells like roses. I'm not sure what the um, noir bit means in terms of roses, but um, yeah, maybe it's just more of an evening fragrance. I'm not sure, um, but that is very nice again, and I think these would make lovely gifts. It's also got a bit of an engraving on the lid, which I think is a really nice touch. So on to some other ones. They've got some gift boxes in store. So these ones, I think, are a dupe of Diptyque. Now Diptyque are one of my favourite candle brands. I've treated myself in the past to them but boy are they expensive. We're talking I think around the £30 mark for one this size if I remember correctly. Um, so you get three of these in a set. There we are and I'll just take you through each one. These are great because as soon as you take the lid off the box you can smell a lot of good candle. There's a lot of good candle smell going on when this box lid comes off. So straight away, um, you can almost see the oil on the um, top of the candle as well, which um, makes them look like really nice quality candles. You have Fig. I think Fig is one of my all-time favourite scents for candle and things like body wash and that kind of thing. You also have Berries. Very nice. It smells kind of similar to the Lime Basil and Mandarin. Does it? I might be making that up. Hang on. No. It smells kind of similar to the pomegranate. <laughs> and then you've got the roses as well, which just smells like roses. And I think that would make such a nice gift. Um, so yeah, it comes in this lovely box um, with a really nice print on it. Looks really expensive. When I saw these, I just thought they looked really high end. I think the packaging is really nice. Be really easy to wrap up as well. So yeah, I picked up two. I was so impressed with those. And they've also got them individually. So if you want just one candle, maybe you don't like all three of those scents. They've also got the individual ones. So I picked up the rose one. Again, very similar to Diptyque. And it has a really nice little print on the front telling you what the candle is and I think this is exactly the same size as well as the Diptyque sizes that they do. So they do obviously the smaller one like I just showed you and they also do ones this side. So popped on the mantelpiece, you wouldn't really notice the difference. But I do still love Diptyque and I do still treat myself every now and then. I just see them at the airport and they draw me in. On to some that are reminding me, a little bit of Yankee Candles, I guess. We've got this one, which does smell very strong. Now this one I think was 2 dollars and it smells like something that you've just whipped up in a mixing bowl with a lot of sugar. I was going to say a lot of egg, but that's not going to really paint a very good picture for you. A lot of sugars in there and a lot of nice stuff, a lot of cream, and yeah, it basically smells like a kind of vanilla cheesecake frosting kind of thing. Creamy vanilla, I should have just read the label and that would have described the fragrance to you a lot better. Instead I just talked about eggs, but we'll continue. This is a single wick, and yeah, 2 dollars you can't go wrong. Although I say that, but I like to compare, and from Home Bargains, you get this size from Wickford & Co. And I think this one smells incredible, it's gingerbread, but they do these in all different scents. And they said flavours. <laughs> it smells good enough to eat. Um, this is my favourite one, the gingerbread man met. Gingerbread, just gingerbread. 
um, of all of the Wickford & Co ones that you get in Home Bargains for 2 dollars So it is a little bit bigger, so if you are comparing, I would say this one wins, but if you're doing a big order of Aldi candles, these may well end up in your basket as well. I also got the sugared cinnamon one as well. Doesn't smell so strong. It smells good, but this is probably, probably the one that, unless it burns really nicely, I probably wouldn't pop into my basket again. It's also a single wick. And that, just sniffing the candle, it is good actually. We'll see how it burns. I'll let you know. Follow me over on Instagram, Mr. Carrington Home, and I'll let you know what I think of all of these. We'll give them a little rating. Um, but yeah, that is the end of my Aldi candle haul. <laughs> I feel like it's very spe specific, so I don't know how many people are actually going to tune into this one. I think it's something you're either interested in or you're not. But I feel like a lot of you will be interested in Aldi candles because I am. So there we are. I also have their Special Buys magazine here, which I do thoroughly enjoy flicking through with a cup of tea. And I just wanted to inform you, they've also got some other options in store. Now these were in store from Thursday the 14th of November. So what day are we on? I don't even know what the date is today. <laughs> Literally am clueless. So um, they may still be in store. Um, we've got these ones, which I thought looked a bit like the White Company ones. If you saw my recent Come Shopping With Me, you would have seen the White Company one that's very similar to that, 3.99 each. We've also got larger ones, Salted Caramel, Happy Holidays, and Black Forest for 3.99. And then they've got some smaller gift sets, which include Cherry, Mulled Wine, and Spiced Cookie. There we are, and that comes in a box for $3.99 a set. Also, the bedding, can we just, yeah, we won't talk about bedding, we're talking about candles in this haul. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new here, do click subscribe for more, I was gonna say more candle videos, but I don't know if that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> There'll definitely be more hauls on here. I've got a few little tips for you if you are into your candles. The first one, is this that I made. It's a little DIY. It's an old jar that I picked up at a car boot sale. Get yourself a box of these big oversized matches from Poundland and then you can just cut off the striker, stick it on the front and you have a lovely match jar for a fraction of the cost of the ones that you see in the designer stores. Also, I picked this up in Poundland which is brilliant. It's a candle lighter. It is a candle lighter. It's meant to light candles as opposed to just a lighter where you reach into the jar and then singe all the hair on your knuckles. So that's brilliant for one pound. And then the last thing that I've got to show you is these, which are wick trimmers. So if your candles are smoking, it's probably because the wick is too long. So you pop those into your jar and trim your wick and you shouldn't have that issue. If I can find them online, I will link them in the description box. The battery's about to die, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. And do pop over to Instagram, Mr. Carrington and Mr. Carrington Home, and I'll let you know how these candles are. One more tip actually. If you want to keep the jar and use it for something else, pop it in the freezer and then all the wax will harden and then you can just pop it out. There we go. Thanks for watching. Bye.